Good morning, everyone. This is Tuesday, July the 12th. I'm Brandi Cummings. And I'm Teo Torres. Here's a look at the big stories we're following today. A California cold case has been solved after more than 40 years. A Reno man accused of killing a five-year-old Monterey County girl will be transported back to California from Nevada to face murder charges. He was charged last week with the kidnapping, rape, and murder of Annie Fom as she walked to school. Investigators used new DNA technology to identify the man as a suspect. Authorities in Los Angeles are searching for a person they say went on a deadly crime spree at 7-Eleven stores. A man was shot and killed in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven in Santa Ana. Less than an hour later, a clerk was shot and killed at another store. And four miles away, there was another shootout in a parking lot. More people are using at-home COVID tests, which means the positive test results aren't being sent to health officials. Data from the state and the county is being undercounted. So now scientists are using the UC Davis wastewater treatment plant to help track the spread of COVID-19. The group is working with UC Davis and public health departments to test the wastewater across Stanislaw, Yolo and Merced counties. Let's get a check on our forecast on this Tuesday morning with Melanie. Hey, good morning. We've got a couple of welcome changes this morning. You can see from our satellite view the blue shading. We have a higher stratus deck this morning and it's spilling inland. We also have a better breeze through Fairfield 25 miles per hour. Yesterday while we were waking up to a calm wind, now we have more of a steady but light breeze in the valley. That's done enough to uh, drop our temperatures a few degrees. In fact, by sunrise we should be in the low to mid 60s. We'll gradually warm up, but we won't get hot like we were yesterday. We'll be in the mid to upper 80s by noon in this afternoon. Daytime highs should max out in the upper 90s. And that's what we're following today here on KCRA 3.